In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, implicit differentiation, uh, which is slightly different than the normal differentiation, okay, where it's explicit differentiation. Here, the question is find the gradient of the tangent to the curve of this function, which is implicit in nature. And uh, the problem with this function is you can't use your graphic calculator to graph this. We need a different program. Uh, to graph this. I'll show you how to graph this uh, on a different program. So let me talk about first implicit differentiation. Implicit. Implicit differentiation is uh, nothing but chain rule. Okay, now what do I mean? Implicit differentiation. Okay, different. Uh, differentiation. Okay. Uh, differentiation okay I hope I spelled it right okay so let me take one example first to explain implicit differentiation so this is a well-known uh, function of a circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 so this is you should know that this is a circle with center 0 0 and radius of 5 so when you want to find so basically you can draw the circle so first let me draw a circle, say this is a circle, and say this is my y-axis, and this is my x-axis, okay. So this is center 0, 0, this point, this is centered at 0, 0. So this is your origin, 0, 0, and this is radius of phi. So this, so you can say phi comma 0, this is... Uh, 0 comma 5 you can understand so we want to find suppose this is an arbitrary point here okay so on this circle say 3 comma 4 is a point okay 3 4 5 is a um, five, uh, is a right angle triangle so I'm not going into that so at, we want to check what is the uh, gradient of the tangent at this point so what do we mean suppose if you draw a tangent Suppose the tangent may look like this. Tangent is not always, I'll show you in this example, tangent in calculus is not always a line which just touches. It can also be a line which intersects. So, so how do you differentiate? How do you find the gradient of the tangent at this point 3, 4? So we use, uh, we do the same thing. We differentiate with respect to x. So we say, okay, d by dx of x squared i'm using the derivation a derivative operator to each of this term so d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared is equal to d by dx of 25. so now what is d by dx of x squared well that's easy that's 2x now when you come here you don't know what to. the question is what's the change in y squared for an infinitesimally small change in x. So I don't know that, okay? So I'll put a question mark here. And this is zero. So let us, let me put a star here. With a different color. So this is a star. I'm going to differentiate this separately. Okay, so let me bring back my green color. So my question is, what is d by dx of? y squared how do you differentiate that so well we are going to do a substitution here well we'll say let let me change color let y is equal to or y squared or u is equal to y squared or y squared equal to u let uh, u is equal to y squared so I'll say, I'm going to differentiate this with respect to y. So can I say uh, d by dy of u is equal to d by dy of y squared. Now here, we are differentiating with respect to y. Okay. So see, d by dx of x squared is 2x. So d by dy of y squared will be 2y. So d by dy of u would be du by dy is equal this seems to be difficult but i'll explain this is nothing but 
uh, chain rule. So let me write that. So d q by dy is 2y. Okay. So now this this question this now changes to dy dx of u, which is du by dx. Okay. Now I can say but okay. Mm, how can I say now? So this question of d by dx of y squared has changed to d by dx of u, which is du by dx. Now, can I say du by dx is du by dy times dy by dx? This is a chain rule. Am I making sense? du by dx is du by dy times dy by dx. This dy and this dy gets cancelled and what remains is du by dx. Now what is du by dy? du by dy is 2y. So therefore, therefore I can say du by dx is nothing but 2y times dy by dx. Now let us come back. What is u? What is u? u is y squared. So, therefore, ultimately we can say d of dx of y squared is nothing but 2y times dy by dx. So, this you can take it as a formula. A different, this is called implicit differentiation. So, you treat this as a simple d by dx of y squared. So, first differentiate y squared. Okay, uh, when you are differentiating y squared with respect to x, it's 2y. And then again, you differentiate y, which is dy by dx. So whenever you have an implicit function, basically, this is how I, how I remember, differentiate this as, as if it's an x squared. So that's 2y. And then differentiate y, which is dy by dx. So let me bring back my question. Okay. Let me copy. Uh, let me copy and let me paste it here. Okay, so this is part of a question. Paste. So let me. Okay, so now the question is uh, now let me write this. So y cube plus 3xy plus 2x cube is equal to 60. So the question is you want to find the gradient of this function at this point. So using the operator d by dx of y cube plus d by dx of 3xy plus d by dx of 2x cube is equal to d by dx of 16. Okay, d by dx of 16. So what I'm doing is, I have used the operator to each of this term. So here we have to use implicit differentiation. So d by dx of y squared, y cube is 3y squared, and then differentiate y, which is dy by dx. Now here I have to use the product rules. I'll take the 3 out and distribute this. So this is d by dx of x times y plus d by dx of y times x. Okay. So this is a plus. This is 6x squared and d by dx of 16 is 0. Okay, so this is nothing but 3y squared times dy by dx plus 3 bracket d by dx of x is 1 times y is y plus d by dx of y is dy by dx times x. I'll write x times dy by dx plus 6x squared is equal to 0. Now, you can divide all by 3. Okay, so you can divide this by 3, this by 3, and this by 3. So this will become 
y squared times dy by dx. So the 3 has gone, so you can open the bracket plus y plus x times dy by dx plus 6x six six squared is equal to 0. Let me change color, so bright color. So I'm going to factor out, I'm going to take common from this. So if you factor out dy by dx, you have uh, x plus y squared. And I'm going to move these two, this and this, to the other side. So this is equal to minus 6x six six squared minus y. Okay, so you're almost there. So therefore, you can say dy by dx. If you divide both sides by x plus y squared, I can get minus, I can take minus out common, 6x squared plus y over x plus y squared. So this is your derived function. Okay, now the question is, you want to find the gradient uh, of the tangent, okay, not the equation of the tangent, only the gradient of the tangent at uh, minus 1, 3. Okay, so yeah, therefore, dy by dx at x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 3. Am I right? So I'll just check. Yeah, x is minus 1 and y is 3. So to just substitute this into this equation. So this is minus out 6 times 1 squared plus 3 over uh, this is how much this is minus 1 plus 3 squared so this is nothing but minus out so 6 plus this is 6 times 1 is 6 so that's 9 over uh, 8 okay so this is minus 1.125 so that's the gradient of the tangent i'll just show you how the function look like on a program uh, called graphmatica now this is a program graphmatica now this is a program you can download from the internet this is a free downloadable program so i'll type in y to the power Three, right? Three plus three x y plus two x to the power three is equal to sixteen. If you type in this, this will. So this is an interesting uh, graph. Okay, it looks like a a mountain, a plateau. And I have worked the equation of the, of, this is the point we're talking about, eh? minus 1, 3. Can you see this point? Minus 1, 3 is this point. So the question is, what is, the gradient is a line which is passing through this point. It's not a tangent. I have worked out the equation of the tangent, which is y, you can check that yourself, equal to a minus 1.125x plus 1.875, 1.875, enter. So this is the equation of the tangent, okay? So this is 1.875, and this is a line, this is a tangent, okay? You may wonder, how can a tangent pass through the curve? Yes, in calculus, a tangent doesn't mean always a line that just touches the curve, it's a line which intersects at the in these two interesting points. Okay, at the, this is one point, which is minus one three, and this is the other point. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. See you in the next.